I love seeing all of the messages of good cheer that are going around, the bright, vibrant messages, uh, things that are, people are putting in their windows, things they're drawing on driveways and sidewalks. And this particular project that I'm going to share with you here this morning is inspired by Tibetan prayer flags. And the idea is they would hang out these flags and uh, they would be in hopes of promoting peace, compassion, strength, wisdom, prosperity, all kinds of good things. And the idea is they get hung with uh, good intentions and then as they blow in the wind, all of that is getting spread out into the world. So I know we could use some more good cheer to spread around and this is a fun project that you can do as, an, as a family. Uh, the kids love it, I love it, it's great for grown-ups and it doesn't require a lot of materials. I love to share things with you that uh, utilize hopefully things that you probably already have lying around the house. Uh, very budget friendly and for this one the main material that you need is material <laughs> you need some fabric scraps and I love working with upholstery scraps uh, they're heavier weight you want a heavier weight fabric because you need it to be able to support uh, your painting and designs we're also going to be hanging it outdoors so upholstery scraps work well you could also cut up maybe a canvas drop cloth or maybe you have a heavier weight uh, tablecloth or shower curtain, and you're gonna cut that into square or rectangular panels. You don't need to worry about finishing off the edges because the paint is gonna keep any of that from fraying, but you're gonna cut them into uh, different sized uh, rectangles or squares, uh, whatever you wanna work with, and we're gonna treat each one of these panels as its own individual canvas. So we need to get them ready for some design work, and you're gonna wanna prime them. And I love to use, um, I just use a regular gesso, which is like a primer when we're creating canvases uh, that gives that fabric some tooth and tightens up all those fibers. If you don't have any of that, you could work with just a regular house primer. If you have that works nicely, uh, you just may need to add maybe uh, an extra coat or two. You could even just layer up some of your acrylic paints on there. Um, the idea is we want to stiffen it up, add some body, and give it some nice tooth for the painting and design work that's going to be happening here. And then once you have it primed, then you're gonna come back in, you can add another background color, layer up that paint if you like. What I love about working with the upholstery scraps is there's all kinds of great texture and designs and patterns in that fabric. And when you're painting over the top of it, you're gonna be picking up those uh, designs and that pattern and you can work them into your finished design as well. It adds a lot of interest to each of those panels. Then when you're ready to start kind of coming back in and add your message you want to focus on uh, you know the, the good vibes that you want to spread out there so things like courage faith family love nature creativity whatever that is start painting some sort of a design add lettering or words on there uh, I just like working with um, some more acrylic paints to add that color to add the verbiage and you want to stay away from probably using the washable uh, paints and art materials that are more designed for kids because they may not wear well outside unless you maybe put a sealer over the top of it. You could also use some permanent markers. Sharpies work great to add maybe some detail. Uh, do some of the lettering with that. Work in whatever the design or pattern is in your fabric into your design. Then you're ready to kind of get them all together to hang. And to hang them, you're gonna create a little groove or channel at the top of your piece. And you can do this before you start painting. Kind of want to keep it in mind so it doesn't interfere with the design work that you're putting on the front. But you can stitch this. I just run them on the machine and you can stitch this into place. You could use some hot glue. You could even get the stapler out or do some hand stitching. And then once you have that done, you'll string your cording, your rope through. I just put a safety pin on the end of it to run it through each of those channels. You're gonna put all of the panels that everybody did together on there. And look at that, you have a beautiful, colorful banner of good cheer to hang outside or on your porch, let it blow in the breeze, let all those handmade thoughtful intentions uh, get out there and uh, hopefully spread some hope some happiness and good health to the world around us. Take the idea, have fun with it, make it your own. And right now though, Lou, I am gonna throw it back to you there in the studio. I know you have a great show ahead with some good guests uh, that you're uh, wanting to talk to. Uh, you wanna tune in tomorrow morning, I'll give you a little teaser. We are going to be talking about the art of play and we're gonna be getting our game on.